Uh, hello, everybody. I'm Vladimir. I'm one of the authors uh, of this talk. And the topic we're supposed to talk about is travel. So how many of you live in Amsterdam? Okay, so everybody else uh, supposed to travel to this conference. So we are travel quite a lot. And this talk is about a romantic profession of hackers and how we spend their free time. So we split the talk in several sections, something like a, a hacker point of view, something like a, a victim point of view, uh, some suggestions uh, how to fight with this kind of fraud. So, like, if you travel quite often, you can be a victim of a travel fraud, and sometimes you never know about this. So because we are eager to buy, like, very cheap tickets and uh, save some money, and hackers know this. We created uh, sometimes uh, underground travel agencies. Sometimes it really looks like a real agencies. But on the background, we use stolen credit cards uh, or something. So it's quite, quite easy to be a victim of a travel fraud wherever you're taking taxi, uh, buying airline tickets, or uh, uh, reser reser reserving a hotel. So... Let's talk about uh, the reasons uh, why there is a market demand uh, for travel fraud. So, you know, the process of reservation tickets on the underground uh, agencies is like, uh, for example, if you need a flight, you can say, like, I want to go from Amsterdam to Bangkok with business class uh, next week for a week. Uh, so this costs, like, with this airline, about, like, Three thousand uh, dollars. What can you offer? And uh, hackers came back and give you usually like between forty and seventy percent discount. And actually, this is a feedback from the customer. So we flew with business class, uh, with a price uh, which is equal to the quota of the price of the normal economy fare. So underground travel agents are quite flexible. Uh, and uh, you uh, shouldn't clean up your money. So, like, so we often accept bitcoins. We didn't ask, like, where you get money, and so on. So, let's view what underground offered to us. So, like, what what travelers need? So, when you travel, what what do you need actually? What about you? What do you need when? Passport, money, and what's all? What about hotel, flights, airport transfers, some food, some entertainment? So actually everything is available uh, on the underground market. So like this is one of the banners of travel agencies. Uh, this is uh, like a happy traveler. And this is an advertisement of uh, underground travel agencies uh, on Russian speaking underground forum. So, basic services. What is basic? Like when you go into the travel agency, you're supposed to buy tickets or flight, you're supposed to reserve hotel, sometimes transfer. So, what about agencies on the underground? It's actually the same. So, it's like 35% uh, from the normal price for the hotels, about 40 50% of the normal price. Uh, uh, for the flights, and um, high discounts are starting from $1,000. And here, for example, you can see uh, countries like Thailand, Greece, Kipper, Dominicana, Emirates, and like a, a special offer uh, to tours to Israel. So, and this is not about Russian-speaking market. The problem exists globally. And there are some flavors of particular markets but everywhere you can buy, uh, you, you, you can buy like flights, hotels, uh, and taxis. And here you can see like uh, on Arabic, English and Arabic speaking forum, like offers for uh, booking hotels and flights among uh, any, uh, many other interesting offers. So, what about hotels? So, uh, like, uh, uh, for the hotels, hackers prefer some fancy rooms. So, like, we, we don't uh, try to save, like, 
small amount of money, so we can spend like thousand dollars. But sometimes we spend this money like to order uh, all villas, which really cost like uh, five thousand per day or so. Uh, on Chinese market, we can see like uh, offers for famous brands. Uh, Russians market, uh, Russian markets are mostly about uh, uh, all-in-one and like customer comfortable offers. So, for example, here you can see like uh, a Telegram channel dedicated to the travel, and like the price uh, for the hotels is 30% uh, of the real price, uh, flights 50%. And very interesting exception, we didn't sell flights uh, over Russia. So the thing you can see on many underground forums and uh, among many criminal groups with malware, so like which mal mobile malware doesn't work in Russia and Russian-speaking country and so on. S on some agencies, you can see the similar trends uh, uh, for the travel services. And here you can see a happy customer uh, with a uh, quite interesting uh, rented car. And I'm not sure if like person in 18 or 20 years uh, can offer this kind of car for rent uh, with normal price. Uh, so when you land uh, in the airport, so yesterday I took a taxi and I paid 60 euros for airport transfer. So what, how much should I pay if I do it with underground services? So for example, you can see like uh, Uber trips uh, for free USD for 40 minutes or Uber Black, like more fancy cars, uh, for 10 years there per two hours flight. And our agency, which called like Lux Taxi World, offer taxis over the world. And the prices is uh, like for uh, Mercedes S-Class, it's about uh, $12 or like $15 per hour. Airport transfer is like $1 more. And for cheaper car, it's very, very, very interesting prices. So you can match the prices in the real world and uh, on the underground services. So what's the basic services? But what else uh, we need? So as you said, uh, we need uh, travel documents. So travel documents sometimes is uh, used for uh, carding fraud. So it's very popular thing, uh, uh, like a scans of documents, which uh, sometimes required to register account uh, on eShop or on social networks. Scans of documents uh, with your picture, so like person take, uh, holding a passport, and what's the way how you can recover passport, uh, for example, for OK social network in Russia. But we saw many other things like stolen passports on the sale, and very interesting thing, it's like European passports, where you can provide your personal data. It will be passport on the real blank, but it's not supposed to be on the citizen's dat database. So as long as police or border control doesn't check you on like electronic base, it's a legit document. And here you can see a driver licenses uh, for a hire. This is Russian driving licenses, licenses. And here is very fancy thing. Uh, you know, what is a green card in the U.S.? So how many people want to get a green card? I think like many, many people playing in lottery. But this is an offer to win a green card without chance to lose. So you pay around $900 uh, for the service. And you pay when uh, you won. So what's one of the interesting offer? Another offer is here. It's a, a blocking access to Russia for the travelers. So you have a neighbor, you have like a competitor, which you don't like. So you can spend like $800 uh, on the Russian underground. And next time when person will travel to kind of sport competition or wherever, it will be arrested on the border, will spend some time on the border control and when extradited uh, like to, to, to the national country. So what's the fancy services you can find? Uh, does anybody familiar with what is like commercial important person? What is the difference between VIP and CIP? Anybody from China? 
from Asia? Nobody? Okay. So like uh, VIP, it could be like uh, president of the country. So he's supposed to be in the lunch, but he not always supposed to pay for this. And commercial important person, it's, mo it's money pocket. So it's a person who ready to spend uh, money uh, for the luxury vacations or something or for the launch in the airport. So you can see like offer uh, like uh, launch access and like special services at the airport uh, for commercial important uh, persons in China. Uh, guided tours. So like as long as you land somewhere, you want to have a very interesting trip, somewhere to see surroundings. And the normal price on the underground, it's about 25% uh, uh, of the normal price. Uh, sometimes you request uh, available offers. Sometimes you can uh, just point, I need this tour, which costs like 100 bucks, and pay just 250. And uh, of course, there we're, are we're interesting notes, like it doesn't work in Russia and XUSSR. And my uh, minimal price is 5,000 rubles. It's about uh, 80, 80 or 90 dollars. We have a good reputation. Like uh, we're working more than four years. Oh, every client is very valuable for them. So like this, this is a business, and it, this is like a not hop on and hop off business. It's long term business. We saw. Many travel agencies which work like from 2015 to 2014, and we still have good reputation, and we still are providing services uh, for the clients. So here you can see uh, a feedback from, I think like two, week, two or three weeks ago, end of March, uh, VIP Tours Jamaica. So that's one of the happy customers uh, of uh, underground services. So food. So food is cheap in some countries, but doesn't cheap uh, in our countries. So for example, I think in California, it's sometimes uh, cheaper to buy jeans instead of pay for pizza. So for these kind of uh, cases, uh, you can buy uh, gift cards from the restaurants or loyalty points. Uh, with, with bitcoins or sometimes with uh, just uh, cards or electronic payment systems. So you can see like Pizza Hut, Domino Pizza, restaurants, and many hours because we have a plenty of offers uh, for this kind of services. Uh, entertainment. So everybody likes cinema. Oh, so here you can buy like uh, access for VIP uh, rooms in, in, in cinema. You can do it uh, with Telegram. So Telegram is really hardly abused with uh, uh, underground actors. And I would say that uh, like, um, it's, it's kind of trend like IRC when underground forums and everybody now moving to Telegram. So Telegram allows uh, like secret chats so people can communicate uh, instantly and very fast and secure way. We can promote your services. And if you look into Telegram groups, you can see like uh, tens of hundred people on the groups uh, related to the underground topics. So here, here like cars uh, for get taxi and uh, tick, 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 tickets uh, for the cinema, which cost uh, less than two dollars. Uh, so this is example of one of the shops offer uh, related uh, to the travel industry. So it's uh, uh, pr price is not in US dollars actually. It's in rubles. You have to divide uh, on something about like 65 or 70. So it's like cinema, Burger King, Accor hotels, one two trip, uh, and several offers for taxis and. Uh, a lot of precautions for the customers, and we will touch this topic again uh, a bit later. So this agency uh, sells like uh, very cheap things, and you can see all in once 
like uh, air tickets, hotels, autos, concerts, a lot of bonuses, and of course precautions. So, uh, guarantee, so it's Google translated, that's why uh, uh, English may be improper and sometimes, and sometimes it's really fun to read the English version. So, and uh, this service uh, accept bitcoins, and it's worked through guarantor, uh, guarantor service. So tickets to, to Disneyland available on uh, English-speaking market. Uh, a lot of abuses of Ticketmaster where you can buy wherever you want uh, in the terms of entertainment. And of course, very interesting point uh, about loyalty programs of airlines, hotels, or wherever. So uh, along with flights or hotel stays, you can uh, use loyalty points uh, for gift cards or to buy uh, almost everything you need uh, for the travel. So if you don't find something that you need on the underground, uh, you can do, uh, you can just buy point, li loyalty points and uh, transfer it uh, to wherever you want. Very interesting service. So sometimes uh, you can do everything elect electronically. Sometimes you have to have, for example, paper tickets or anything. So there is an underground postal service which will deliver you like stolen credit card tickets or whatever you want. It's approved on the several underground forums. Uh, you can pay only after delivery. So you don't spend a, a money if ser service doesn't work. And we accept like a, a lot of uh, payment systems uh, like, like, like cards uh, from uh, Yandex, uh, Kiwi, which is uh, like a uh, very popular p electronic payment system in Russia. So what, 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 what we can see, like how happy are travelers uh, with services. So after, after um, making a trip, sometimes seller offer a special offers like extra discounts for the travelers uh, for the video reviews. And people pushing video reviews like in the airport, uh, in the hotels, or wherever, and promoting a uh, nickname or uh, any contacts of the seller and getting an extra discount. So you can see how people drink beer and cocktails and saying happy and saying, saying thank you for, for this travel agent uh, from this uh, underground actor. So you can see Hilton Hotel room. Uh, you can see Happy Traveler uh, to Miami. And uh, his, he claims like there is no questions from the staff. You just get in the keys and you are in the room. Everything is happy. So since, since I'm, I'm living in Munich, so I found a Munich hotel and a lot of beer from Happy Traveler to Munich. And there are a lot of other things uh, like, uh, like, like you, can, you, can, you can see like uh, uh, the, the best travel agents, you can see like made two hotels in Italy. And this is like uh, suits in Rome, Italy. And you can see like uh, nickname of the actor who sells and like uh, uh, who travel. So technically like somebody can track uh, the actors uh, who travel. And this is a special gift. So uh, this, this message claims like one of my uh, customers who buy it a lot, ask it to send uh, uh, roses to, her, to his girlfriend in France. So and this is the result uh, of the underground uh, travel agency uh, to make a special gift for the girl in, a, in, the, in our country. And I think like a lot of... Uh, uh, like a woman's like this kind of size of the gift, I would say. So, so but sometimes um, we can see uh, people afraid about quality of service and they offer to put some deposit uh, from the underground actor and this is uh, like a booking ticket or reserve ticket, but it's just a Google Translate, as we see. Like, like, and person says like uh, everything can happen. So sometimes you will, uh, will be unable to jump into the plane 
or sometimes you come to the hotel and hotel asks you to provide a, a credit card which you ha has used it for booking and so on. So not only, uh, uh, not, not every uh, travel uh, ends with happy end. So here you can see example uh, like when traveler was asked uh, about uh, credit card and he was unable to jump uh, into the airport and this is actually abuse so it's called arbitrage on the underground service uh, on the underground forum when uh, not happy customers uh, can feel abuse form and when uh, forum forum moderators uh, decide whatever uh, seller should return money or shouldn't so this is one of the cases uh, of unhappy travelers. Uh, this is another unhappy customer. So he tried to buy tickets uh, four times, and every time, like, a ticket was both, but when canceled uh, by the airline. So what actually on the background says that uh, it's not matter underground actor with just, which just use a stolen credit card, and try to buy tickets directly uh, on the travel agency. So what, what's, what's the thing which uh, doesn't work? Actually, because uh, many agencies have uh, anti-fraud system and uh, attackers are supposed to use uh, more complicated uh, schemes to buy tickets. So ripers. So as long as one agency have a pretty good reputation on the underground forum, and we announce uh, your contacts, for example, for the Telegram. You can see how your like uh, twins appears uh, on the Telegram or somewhere and steal the money from the customer and ruin the reputation. So this is a climb on the underground forum where person tried to buff something and uh, seller says, "I have a Telegram without logo or avatar here," and. Uh, whatever you contact, it wasn't me. And when uh, during the discussion, you can see a proof how many uh, like uh, duplicates <laughs> are on the Telegram. So uh, another thing on the travel agency, it's a part of the service advertisement, and this is a very big note at the bottom. So this is uh, so. Please note. My telegram and, uh, is this, and you can see L at the end. It's a real account. And be afraid because there is a, a twin account which will steal your money. So like, uh, I think like this usually happened uh, after several abuses uh, from the unhappy customers. So uh, for example, here, like, uh, it's like, uh, hi, I'm Sasha, and wh what's with my money? Where is my money? You ignore me? You write me? What, why you ignore me? And when it's like, where is my mommy, money on the cycle? So this is like a, a voice uh, of the victim. Maybe we can make a short break. If videos cache it, I can show you uh, like uh, a feedback uh, from happy travelers. So, so so, so this guy claims like uh, I'm flying over Russia, so it's a very rare service. Uh, and thank you, okay. Th 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 thank you for tickets. Okay, so this is the same seller and a video review uh, of the hotel room. So it's like watcher, thank you for the hotel. And you can see uh, the room size, the room location, and like wh what was on the room. So, so and the room doesn't look uh, very, very cheap. So sometimes you can see wheelers, sometimes you can see cars which cost like several hundred thousand dollars. Uh, sometimes people are flying like on the business class or first class or wherever. So I think it's Moscow and Moscow State University on the backstage. So it's like a hackers from suburbs coming to the capital. Oh, wherever, here.
here is a, another re review from Telegram channel where people just uh, confirming uh, the quality of services. But uh, whatever, like what happened on the background? So what hackers doing uh, to provide these kind of services? So if you look into English speaking market uh, in Chinese market, it's more about like um, a building blocks for all-in-one services. So you can buy, for example, account with miles for particular airline, like, or, like from SkyTeam or like Star Alliance or whatever. You can buy uh, something like, sometimes like a gold uh, status for Hilton Hotel. Uh, and for Russia, it's totally different. So it's like a real travel agencies uh, with 24-7 support on Telegram or on the phone. So we reissue cancelled tickets. Sometimes we saw like a uh, seller come to the airport to bring new tickets uh, for the victim uh, of anti-fraud system because a victim was unable to jump into the plane uh, and uh, tickets has been cancelled after check it in. Uh, so on underground, you can say uh, you can find the things called manuals or step-by-step -step guides. So here you can see manual for Uber, for short trips, for long trips. Um, uh, this is like hotels and flights and uh, features and concerts and car rental. So it's a step-by-step -step guides on the sales. So, uh, after people buying this, uh, as long as uh, usually it sells to just several um, buyers. So, for example, good manual never sells like for hundreds of people. It usually sells like to three or five hands. And as long as it not went to the very, very big scale, people doing were like ten or twenty thousand dollars per month, uh, and we are happy. Uh, so, and, and we can see confirmation uh, of another thing when hackers hacks into uh, travel agencies portals, portals and book tickets uh, on behalf of a legit agent, a travel agency. So, and this news climb, uh, what it happened. So, hackers stole a trip for 47,000 ruble, rubles, it's just uh, $700. But uh, the same happened before. And uh, the same happened all the time. Uh, another very interesting abuse, it's kind of business process compromise when uh, people hack it into the travel agencies and we both uh, train tickets uh, and then went to the, to the cash desk of a train service and returned tickets for real money. So we earn money like by, by, while spending nothing. And the amount was uh, about like 50,000 uh, US dollars uh, at the time. Uh, another approach, like how people think about uh, committing the fraud. So it's uh, not, not something criminal. It's the way how we uh, abuse uh, like uh, a special sales from airlines. So for example, this is a sale from Russian discounter. Uh, discuss it. And you can buy tickets for 8 USD per trip. Tickets not re returnable, not refundable, but you can pay like 80 bucks to change the name on the ticket. So what we do, we found a customer closer to the new event. We sell a ticket like uh, 30 times, with 30 times higher price. Uh, we spend uh, like around like uh, less than 100 bucks uh, to fix uh, the ticket, and we earn le extra like 150 bucks per ticket. Uh, and technically, there is nothing criminal in this scheme because everything is legged, everything is allowed uh, by, uh, by airline. Uh, so, but not, 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 matter, uh, not matter actors use a stolen credit card, and it's like um, Uber doesn't work. So I think you can do me an hour trip and it's okay because you don't spend your money. And guys say, no, I'm just using uh, stolen credit cards from an hour supplier. 
So I'm spending money on stolen credit cards. I, can, I can't arrange you another ride. What's your problem? So, and like, there are a lot of confirmations uh, about uh, uh, attacks on the booking systems like uh, Sabre and uh, like in our, uh, in our reservation systems which exist. And actually, the volume of the fraud is like several billions uh, US per year. So, but uh, the problem is like, I think uh, as long as the volume of the fraud lower than fraud resistant rate, so that's the term people use it in the industry, which is usually about like six or five percent, uh, often nobody cares about this because they just put these risks, uh, these risks uh, on the price. So this is a funny thing, you know, like if you use Uber or like in another taxi application, uh, you, you, uh, you have one application and taxi driver have another one. So what hacker did, they patch it a legit application for Yandex Taxi and they sell it on the underground market. So for example, uh, if you are a taxi driver, you're unable to call the customer unless you are 50 meters away from his location. So we fix it this. We fix it a uh, fake GPS uh, detection. So customers can be charged more when we write, we, uh, we, we fix it, uh, the function that required a regular car review. So if you provide like a BMW X5 car as a taxi, you have to send a, a regular photos of this car, like uh, to renew your application in your validity, like uh, as a tra taxi driver for Yandex. We fix it this thing and we fix it a lot of things. So like wherever you don't know what, what you are a victim of the fraud, you can be victim of this kind of uh, applications used by uh, not fair driver, drivers, I would say. So of course, like uh, it could be like a GPS spoofing and uh, it's, it, you can see uh, several signs, but it's already happened on the scale uh, and in, in several parts of the world. So what about uh, airline loyalty programs? So like people consider miles, it's, it's not a money, but for hackers it's a real money. And you can see where, uh, like a sales on US speaking market, like particular accounts with uh, miles or dedicated shops uh, for uh, airline accounts on the Russian underground market. So you can, where people can buy like a building blocks to commit travel fraud. The same situation is with hotels. So wherever you take any famous brand, you can see underground offers uh, for abusing loyalty programs of uh, these hotels. So you can see like Hilton, you can see like Hotels.com, uh, IHG uh, accounts. The same is for car rental companies. So sometimes it's offers to sell loyalty points. Sometimes it's offers to sell something like a gold status where you can uh, get a free upgrade of the car or extra days or something. And it's valid like not only for six, six and hertz, but for many hours, uh, other agencies. So um, according to the problems with Telegram in Russia, so Russian government try, tried to um, force Telegram to provide encryption keys for the chats. And as long as uh, this news came, some of the travel operators uh, from the underground of the Telegram uh, give a manual how to use VPN uh, with uh, Telegram bot which made a VPN uh, to maintain availability of the service while you travel if Telegram will be blo blocked. So Another interesting thing that uh, sometimes mentioned, it's a corporate rate uh, uh, for the hotels. So if you Google for images, like corporate codes, this is a Google images, you can find uh, a corporate codes for different corporations, and you can get uh, extra discount. Uh, sometimes it's like 30%, sometimes it's 50% or so. So this thing is abused, but Hotels are afraid about this and we are aware about this. So we can ask you for ID from the company you work for. And what's the problem, yes or no? 
You can buy uh, fake IDs on Chinese-speaking market uh, for like very, very cheap price. It's like one RMB. And you can find IDs like, for, for this case, a General Electric. Here you can see a disclaimer from Siemens about abuse of corporate rate uh, <laughs> rates for the hotel. So that's really a big problem, but uh, it's almost untold. So what uh, like victims can, can do with uh, this kind of problems? So if uh, it's corporates, we can use uh, travel fraud systems, which is obviously, and it obviously works, uh, but not for every case. And another suggestion, like um, look for the uh, bookings from VPN, from tour notes, from uh, strange locations. And another things we did like to detect incidents before when I work at incident response team, we do retro analysis of everything we have. So like if you have like several cases uh, about fraud, try to find some similarities and do manual rules for your anti-fraud system. And of course know your customer like, but it's about what happened with Cambridge Analytica. We know the customers. So it's like a quite a dangerous thing. So if you're just a normal traveler, just uh, double check the reputation uh, of the agency, uh, not try to buy like really bargain deals uh, until you confirm it's legit, and uh, protect your accounts. So never use like uh, one, two, three, QAZ password for uh, your airline accounts or like for like loyalty points from the hotel. So generally I'm done. If you have any questions. Okay, we're waiting for a microphone. Can can you can you tell the company name you work for? Before you ask a question. Uh, yeah, booking? Okay, I'm reading between the lines. I'm really interested because it's a, it's a very interesting topic. I have a question about the loyalty points. Um, do you see any other way to get loyalty points besides account takeovers? I think uh, vulnerabilities uh, on uh, like sites uh, of travel agencies is another point. As long as you hack into like that database, you can make a count and just change the amount of points and reuse them. To increase them, you mean? Uh, yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so yeah. Where, where is the way? In our way, like uh, you can check over account by brute forcing, or you can check over account by intercepting open Wi-Fi in the hotels or in the airports, or you can do it uh, using like a phishing campaign. So there are a lot of options to do this. Any other question? So nobody from Airbnb? Where is uh, one question uh, on this row? And with Airbnb, there was an interesting story. There was a campaign from a Russian bank with like a secret promotion code for, I think, like a, a MasterCard black card holders. And somebody leaked this code, and Airbnb were forced to cancel a lot of existing bookings because it was abused by underground criminals. Uh, because it's supposed to be a very private code, like for several customers, or like several hundred customers, but it went into the scale that uh, Airbnb was unable to afford. Yes, your question. Yes, just uh, wanted to say there is, you can get uh, much better prices if uh, you just make a run for it. Like, you use the service, and then instead of paying, you just run away. <laughs> so uh, it's up to you, actually. <laughs> I'm not used. My company pays okay no, just for the travel. But if you look into the travel the... reviews uh, from the real customers of this kind of services, you can split it into several categories. So one is the script kiddies, uh, and uh, flights are often, can often cancel it. Or like people ask it like to provide credit cards or any other evidence of payment. 
but in our travel agency has like hundred or several hundred of positive reviews and just a couple of cases which has been fixed through the arbitrage. So we use another means uh, of booking which allow them uh, to keep uh, booking active. If you look into the process, usually uh, many agencies suggest to book uh, your flight just three or four days uh, before the travel. And for many agencies, they doesn't book uh, your return flight unless uh, you land and spend a couple of days uh, in the hotel. But there was a tricky situation and there was discussion on the arbitrage section when one of the person uh, flew into something like seashells, spent there like 12 days and decided to get back in two next days. He tried to contact the underground forum seller, but seller was on the vacation. And person hangs up uh, for several extra days trying to get a almost free tickets. And when both tickets like for a couple thousand of dollars because there was no options and wrote uh, an abuse on the underground forum. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Any other question? Hello. Hello. Uh, do you see any kind of uh, prosecution against the clients? Like, for example, if I'm going to an airport to get a, a plane by this way, uh, is there any chance that the, because it was with a fake credit card or fake loyalty, loyalty points, uh, some airline or credit card companies are actually prosecuting the client? Uh, so if you look into the news, uh, there was uh, several arrests of the actors who sell. And if you look into the negative comments uh, for the travel, uh, underground travel agencies, the worst thing you usually see, like I was forced, forced to pay for this night in the hotel because was, I was unable to uh, provide evidence uh, of means of payment. So usually it not ends up with um, arrest or something. So as long as person pay for the first night, he wrote abuse to underground travel agency, and this agency uh, just book another hotel in the same location from the next day, for example. So, and the same is for flights. So usually we have uh, like 24-7 support, and we get back with new flights in several hours after abuse. Any more questions? Anybody from airlines here? Okay. Uh, how did you travel here? Uh, I spent uh, 190 euros for the trip. It was economy flight, which was one and a half hour. So it was the normal price. But if you're supposed to travel somewhere quite far away, if you try to uh, buy something on the underground, you can do it cheaper than economy on the business class. But double check the reputation. And I'm not suggest to do this because it's not like I love it by local laws usually. <laughs> but where are some processes which, which are quite legged or it's kind of gray, gray area? Does anybody need uh, uh, like uh, URLs or dorks? <laughs> because uh, here I think like nothing is hiding. You can see or sometimes you can see URLs for forums, or you can use the keywords. Or I, I almost or I hide almost everything. So you can look by nicknames, uh, by travel operators, of happy travelers just to Google this, because it's not on the hidden sections of the forums, so everybody can find uh, like the services we want, if we want. Okay? One more question, one more. From organizers. Yeah, organizers actually cover flights, and we can ask organizers how we buy tickets, yes? Sorry, you keep saying uh, we during your presentation. What, 
what is your active part in that? So actually, it's, it's a, a style how Russian speaks. So it's more like a lack of uh, English knowledge, maybe. And I, I'm saying if you or you, if we... You should we, definitely I'm use usually day. Use if. <laughs> and if it's usually beginning of the phrase. If somewhere I miss it, sorry, I'm not intent, intent to do this. Thank you for this question, yeah.